the district council has always been the most democratic uh, platform that people can choose their own representatives to represent them in the district council. Uh, and so with the result of the 2019 election, um, it's, it is clearly shown that Hong Kong people are in support for the pro-democracy camp. That is no doubt. The, the threats uh, that the government is posing on the district councillors is actually that they will chase back your money and you can go bankrupt uh, because of that, because you have spent all those money on the community uh, already. So this is one, um, one big factor that I have been uh, hearing uh, consistently from all across the pro-democracy camp. Uh, that is a risk that people don't want to take. After the national security law is passed, uh, everybody knows uh, the risk of being in politics is much higher, uh, that you may be uh, subjected to uh, arrest and prosecution that you can you have never imagined before so um, the risk is higher now but um, I don't think that um, the, 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 the resonations or the mass resonations of the district councillors is a direct uh, translation to people are getting afraid of politics. 其實同樣都係接受款待，點解即係湯顯明之前就要有即係獨立主席哥打貪嘅概念背道而馳咧？第二個問題，我哋喺落實執行呢個宣誓咧，亦都唔會受到誒嗰個結果影響。即係坊間有啲人話：，哇！你如果係誒取消太多人嘅資格，令到某一個區議會誒少咗好多嘅區議員而不能運作，咁唔得嘅喎。但但係我哋可以話俾你聽，呢個唔係我哋考慮因素。見出所有新記者，我都會或者將想做記者嘅人，我會問。